Hi, my name is Matt Woods, and I work with Acme Lock and Hardware. And uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, A and B movers and what you can do in a small hardware store to uh, effectively manage your inventory. In a downtown environment, we have a heavy set of light bulbs, and so one of the things that we do to take advantage, especially when there's a lot of do not break items, is that we use uh, longer peg hooks to be able to maximize the amount of uh, inventory that we can have in a little section. So we're able to fully look fully stocked and do our best to you know, make sure we have what our customers are requiring. So one of the other things that we have to really manage here is making sure we focus on, as an A mover, you know, that's really going to be your fastest turns. And so light bulbs, pest control, things that are your everyday do-it-yourself type hardware, we absolutely have to have a depth of uh, product. Your B movers are something that's a little bit slower, and every once in a while you need to have some you know, C's and D's according to your best customer's requirements. So one of the things that we do our best on is constantly analyzing how fast something is turning. And if it's not turning, every square inch of space in our store is exceptionally valuable. So we either discount it or we just donate it directly to a, uh, a reuse center. They use the profits from that to be able to hire you know, people that are down and out. And it's really a good opportunity for us to find valuable real estate so we can find something that does actually move. So one of the things that we have to constantly identify is a slow moving area. Um, as a small store, we still need to have a footprint in areas that might not necessarily turn as fast as we'd like. But after you know, careful analysis after at least a year, we look for dead items and if we can, we'll donate them as soon as we can. So this section is definitely not a fast moving, but it's a great look. And so we will work very closely like with Delta and other manufacturers to really identify what are your A movers at your warehouse. So if there's anything that's not an A, we try and make sure that they don't send it with their planograms. And so usually the reps are great about identifying what they know is moving in the market. But if it's not moving, especially in an urban area where it's, you know, there's a lot of urban renewal and so you don't really know the right product mix, you know, you can try something out. If it doesn't work, there's somebody that can sell it at a discount and it really goes to a good cause. So we really don't see an investment in something like this as a bad idea, even if it doesn't work. You know, you gotta try it until and plus your customers really appreciate seeing things that pop out like this and then also knowing that you more than likely are going to have it even though you only have 1400 square feet. One of the great things that we do is we have several customers that almost seem like they're de facto employees. So when they're in here, they're helping customers find things, they're helping them with do-it-yourself projects, but one of the best things that they've done is help us actually lay out the store. So we have about five key customers that we really identify and just say, hey, what is something that you would want us to have if, because if we don't currently have it, I want to make sure that they're happy and they want to continue coming here. So we've actually had several of them. We even give them an offer to go to uh, the hardware shows. And uh, you know, our customers, one, they love the fact that we're engaging them, but two, they really love the fact that you know, this is kind of their store and they help build it.